The stakes have been raised again as North Korea has gone from a submarine-launched cruise missile test Sunday to firing short-range ballistic missiles Tuesday and now an intercontinental ballistic missile or ICBM launch. This latest test was just hours before a rare summit between the leaders of South Korea and Japan, at least partly to discuss the North. And of course, we know North Korea had already threatened an overwhelming response to ongoing military drills involving South Korea and the US. So we might naturally ask, what's next? But before we get to that, let's check what we know happened Thursday morning. North Korea fired what was initially described by South Korea's military as a long-range ballistic missile shortly after 7 a.m. It seems to have been similar to last month's ICBM test, given that it flew around a thousand kilometers at a lofted angle. Japan's defense ministry also noted that it flew for around 70 minutes. Also like last month's ICBM, Thursday's missile landed in the East Sea, again reflecting how it was fired up and down rather than further across to the Pacific Ocean, for example. Before heading to Japan for his summit with Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, South Korean President Yoon sang yeol issued a warning that North Korea will pay for its provocations, ordering the South's military to thoroughly conduct joint drills with the US to maintain their readiness against threats from the North. But in a political sense, North Korea's provocations have helped to create fresh momentum for Seoul and Tokyo to move beyond their historical feuds and work together in the common interest of this security challenge. That momentum could become even stronger if North Korea ramps up another level to an ICBM launch towards the Pacific, which would inevitably create a greater sense of urgency on the US side. Analysts are also looking into whether North Korea's test fired a solid fuel ICBM, a greater threat because they require less preparation time and are therefore harder to spot before being fired. But the big one would be a seventh ever nuclear test, which we understand the North's been ready to conduct for the last year, having not done so since 2017.